the early 1990s, after a decade of declining fortunes under successive military governments, Nigeria's economy had become a wasteland of inefficient state enterprises, decaying infrastructure, widespread insecurity and high levels of poverty. The Nigerian economy was actually in very stormy waters. A, because uh, most of the macroeconomic indices were headed south. Inflation was very, very rampant. Interest rate was going through, uh, through the roof. And there was abject poverty, ignorance and disease all around. Backed by rigorous research, the NESG continued to create a buzz, becoming more actively involved in the policy-making process as it pushed both the legislature and the executive for more openness in the economy the NESG in particular and the private sector in general became increasingly visible on the political landscape the Obasanjo government's economic blueprint called for a more private sector led economy and the president and his deputies organized several policy dialogues with the private sector under the umbrella of the NESG by May 2003, as President Obasanjo campaigned for re-election, the NESG was on top of its game. On its platform, it could boast of having helped the government to create a new vision for the country, introduce the privatization program, as well as far-reaching banking and pension reforms, the establishment of regulatory agencies, the GSM revolution, and much more. Today you can see many national uh, institutions have been privatized. There's a high level of liberalization in the economy. The private sector is playing much more active role. Telecoms, revolution, and all that. Those are major areas of our impact. Take the GSM revolution. Everybody gives credit to Obasanjo. But Obasanjo at first was minded to resist it at the time. How could you just allow people to come in and, you know, given the background, when he ran Nigeria before, it was command economy. And now, uh, you know, and then with his military backgrounds. So he couldn't understand how you look, just open the doors and so on. But NEAG was part of the group that re-educated him. Today, the trail and... As a mark of its increasingly global profile, the NESG's 2011 summit is being attended by investors and business leaders from across the world. The essence of the summit is to try and see what kind of policies are people who want to invest in this country think we need to put in place that will make it interesting for them to come here. And there's a whole load of them that we hope we will discover during the summit. My idea about the summit in Abuja is that um, it will uh, be attended by Nigerian investors and their foreign you know, partners as well. Uh, and the hope is that they would hear good stories, not just about um, plans by government, but also good stories about investment success in Nigeria, case studies. Today, nearly two decades after those first tentative steps that took the Nigerian economy in a new direction, the NESG train is still moving at full speed and is unlikely to slow down anytime soon. I